This is a winter term course called History at the Museum. It's the first time we've taught it. Yep. We met several times a week for classroom discussions based on readings about history museums and about some of the professional ethical considerations that history museums undertake. And one of the things we've been really working with the students on is thinking about what tools do museums have to communicate both a historical narrative and to cultivate a sense of historical consciousness or empathy in their visitors that are particular or specific to a form like a museum. So comparing museums to other kinds of ways in which historical information is communicated. And we've also been supplementing that with readings. So the students have been doing a lot of museum studies readings mm -hmm. where they're getting a little bit of taste of what the scholarship is like and then are able to go to a museum to see how is this museum either putting into practice or not putting into practice or reflecting some of the trends we saw in the scholarly work that we read together. We visited five different museums outside of Oberlin plus one in Oberlin to look at the ways in which different kinds of history museums represent history, what stories they tell, what stories they don't tell, and how they tell those stories, mm -hmm. how they get visitors to care, get excited about the, the history they're telling. Yeah, and I, I do think it's a great opportunity for students to take a little bit of a deep dive into an area to get a sense of, do I, you know, do I want to learn more about this area? Um, might I want to next year try to do an internship to learn more and really get a taste of that in a concentrated way that they can then use as they go forward. 